I want to mention Albert Lin and the Lost Cities Revealed show that just premiered on Hulu. Okay. I think in October. There's new episodes right now. So this guy, okay, do you know what LiDAR is? Oh, is that the, um, it's almost like sonar, but it sort of helps to look through. um... Yeah, the canopy of the Amazon, for example. Yes. It stands for light or laser detection and ranging or something like that. Okay. But, you know, this a little drone flying over uh, Amazon rainforest, for example, can shoot like 400,000 beams of information to the uh, ground mm-hmm. in a, per second. Wow. Right. So do you remember how incredible it was to be able to go on Google Maps or Google Earth and look at, you know, oh, there's um, a really cool landmark. There's a volcano. There's right. a freeways yeah. in L.A. There's and map everything. I predict. In fact, I have a few predictions well, for twenty twenty four. Well, and then you got Street View too. Right. You know, first you had just like landmarks and like maps and stuff. Then you had Street View, and now it's gonna get cooler than that. Oh, of course. I promise you. I will prick my finger in blood and write it on Ursula's contract. Yeah, I love it. Because which what's... also, kids, that's how the original Little <laughs> Little Mermaid went. Because she couldn't write. Because if she could write, then she could communicate with Eric. But in the theatrical release, she pricked her finger and put it on the contract in blood. Fact check me. I know I'm right. We're not going to sidebar, but you need to come back to Hans Christian Andersen. Yes. Oh, I was so excited. Okay. All right. So back to Albert Lin and this Ancient Cities Revealed uh, show on Hulu. So basically what the guy's done, I'm sure he's a stud. He comes across as just a badass and all the badassery that goes along with having, you know, I I don't know, having degrees and lost, he lost a right leg from the knee down. So yeah, he's got a really cool prosthetic. How though? Uh, I don't know. Probably, let's say some cool way. It's got to be something cool. Let's assume some cool way doesn't matter. He almost (laughs) lost it again in an episode that I just watched. Like it the almost, same leg or a different yeah, leg? Yeah, no, a rock, the same leg came and crushed his foot and his prosthetic foot went flying. So the guy- <laughs> Well, thank goodness it was a prosthetic. The guy is engaged in acts of badassery. However, he's a little over dramatic for me. Oh, well, right? sure. Like, okay, for, exa- you know, for if, example- If I lost my leg, I would also be very dramatic. In, in fact, this guy is a, I would say, caricature. Which, as a character development specialist in the past, yeah. I happen to know makes for good radio, good television. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's kind of transparent. For example, if you know what you're looking for, he's got to climb. He's got to go up to a plateau. So every single episode, he's got to go up to a plateau. So every single episode, he does rock climbing. It's almost like a drinking game. Oh, he's rock climbing unnecessarily because when he gets to the top, his whole crew is there, right? Like right. they were airdropped by helicopter or of whatever, course. or yeah. they t- or they took the, the which also is just as cool, by the way, the if road not route. cooler. Yeah, you know, uh, like, he he forges streams unnecessarily. Take a shot. He's <laughs> right. in his tent at night with his flashlight, saying, "I feel like I'm d- really connecting to this culture." Take a shot. You know, it's like, it's predictable and dramatic and like, okay, buddy, like it's a 45 minute show that could be 20 minutes. Just show me the LIDAR. (laughs) Right, right. But what he does, and and, you know, if he were to at us anywhere on the internet, I'd be like, I'm sorry, bro. You're so cool. (laughs) Well, yeah. Okay. It's kind of, can I throw this out here? Yeah. And I know I'm going to. Please stop me from my rant. And I know I'm going to upset many a people. Mm Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that one scene in that one Mission Impossible movie where Tom Cruise is uh, rock climbing inexplicably, no good reason, <laughs> yeah. just so he could look cool. And realistically, he does look very cool. Although the, and also, the scene on the Burj Khalifa and Ghost Protocol, oh my God. Right, but uh, also- that, Wow. Right, and also that one scene where he's rock climbing- Unnecessary. I you totally don't need agree. It. And Albert Lynn, as cool as he is, right. he ain't Tom Cruise. <laughs> this isn't Mission Impossible. This is Mission Probable. Right. And I'll tell you why. Well, and also, it does totally add to it. And it also kind of makes you go like, dude, come on. For me, it doesn't <laughs> add to it. It detracts from it. Because okay. it's 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 overly dramatic and therefore <clears throat> cheesy. That's fair. Basically, what the guy's done is something I predicted. And my remember, I told you last episode, I invent... 
I've invented a lot of things that I haven't gotten yes. credit for. Yeah. Because <laughs> you've done like no work toward it. You came up with the idea and then like didn't make a, a prototype. Five, right. Yeah. Five to 10 years ago when I found out about ground penetrating radar, I'm like, okay, here's what we need to do, people. To the panel inside my mind that can't act, doesn't listen, <laughs> no, never yeah. does what I want it to do. It's basically that little troop from Inside Out. <laughs> yes. And they hear it and they're like, oh, wow, our person's so smart. We really like them. And yeah. then they like go about their normal tasks. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Of brushing teeth <laughs> yeah. and feeling sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Experiencing yeah. post-Christmas buttons. depression. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. For that analogy. <laughs> but I'm like, okay, people, here's what we need to do. We need to just uh, go from uh, latitude to longitude and just scan the damn thing, whether it's satellites or drones or airplanes mm-hmm. or whatever. Somebody needs to get on that. Well, and I think technically what you mean is actually altitude because latitude and longitude are uh, ground. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about scanning the entire Earth from north to south pole. Oh. And from east to west. Okay. Whether and, and I don't know what kind of altitude LIDAR requires. I don't know if you need to be 200 feet up or if you can be 20,000 feet up or if, you know, if it can be done by satellite. So probably not. So basically, Albert, what he's done is Albert Lynn has Googled list of rumored ancient cities on planet Earth. And let's say he got I've only watched eight episodes, but let's say he got, you know, 20 of them. So Mm -hmm. he's already got two or three seasons of this shit (laughs) planned. And he's basically in a race against either Google Mm -hmm. or crowdsourced nerds. Mm, that's fair. With this kind of technology available. Yeah. Because it's becoming cheaper and cheaper. Right. But basically, he goes to a site of a rumored ancient city, throws a drone up in the air, scans, I don't know, a thousand square feet, mm-hmm. and he goes, yep, there it is. And sure enough, there it is. Wait a second. Like Scotland, the Amazon, India. He's been all over the place, and he's finding evidence. So I predict, my first prediction for 2024 is there is going to be a new Google Maps, and it's going to be a LiDAR map of the Earth. Not only showing you, so Google Maps will now show you, the satellite view will show you the trees Mm -hmm. and the terrain. Right. The LiDAR view will show you the stuff that used to be there or that is barely poking out of the earth or is even slightly mm-hmm. with ground penetrating radar now mm-hmm. slightly under the earth. So you can see evidence of settlements from, I don't know, five, 10, 20, 40,000 years ago. Here's the thing. I want to know two things. Where's El Dorado and we're going to find it. I guarantee you we're going to find it. What happened to Roanoke? We're going to find Atlantis there's a show on, I believe, also on Hulu called Drain the Oceans. Right. So now they have water penetrating radar. Yeah. Right now, we don't know what we don't know. We're exactly. going to find out what we should have known. Uh, you know, we're going to we're going to find the Garden of Eden. I was going to say I guarantee you. I don't guarantee you, but mm. I'm betting it's going to be somewhere uh, 200 feet down, 200 meters down okay. in the Red Sea. Mm. I think we're going to find Atlantis. I think we're going to find, we've already found not just a few, but several out of context artifacts. Like, mm-hmm. mm, this looks like the aluminum footing to a lunar lander, only it's in a layer of Earth that should be like 3,000 years old. Right. We've already found wacky stuff like that. Which also, funny thing, um, Mormonism believes that uh, the Garden of Eden is actually here in the Americas. And, and I think you make a really good point bringing it back around to religion. I think that we're going to find some things that either prove or absolutely disprove. Well, that's the a thing, A lot though. of stuff. Well, and also there's a difference between a theory and stating it as if it's a fact. Yes, absolutely. Right. And, I, and, and that's all I want. I just want to know. Yeah. One way or the other. I suppose some people could condemn me. For not being personally invested in either. Yeah. I'm not. I'm invested in uh, the truth. Right. You know, it's honestly, out there. same. The I'm not Scully or Mulder or I'll whichever be... one. <laughs> yeah. I'll be Which, Scully. Wait a minute. We kind of, we definitely have an X-Files thing going here. I don't think oh, I'm, wait. I'm, <gasps> I'm, I'm, I'm not half as handsome hey, as wait. David Duchovny. Uh, I have the perfect costume from my mom's 90s stuff that she gave me. Uh, should we go with Scully and Mulder for yeah, next Halloween? If, if they need if they need to remake this and they need a new Gillian Anderson, 
<laughs> yeah. I will work out, I swear. 